Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Artemis Game here and today we have another build. Now this one was a special request from my lovely Franceschi, who is infinitely better at playing Sims than me so make sure that you check her out. I put links to her Twitch in my description, but also go follow me, that link is also in the description. So this is what she wanted us to do and I was in charge of building lot 5 here which was a couple's villa for two singletons. The lot had to have two bedrooms obviously and had to be 20 by 30. So obviously I don't have the island living pack so I decided that I was going to build it in Oasis Springs because that seemed like the closest. And at first I've kind of looked at like a thatched house for a villa with the straw roofs that look all beautiful. I started off by just doing like a little porch thing. I kind of like the idea of having like a little bit of tea on the porch and by tea I mean Long Island iced tea and then I started just getting down the bare bones of the house like what I wanted the shape to be and then I realized it was a box house so I kind of added these little wings on the side which I wholeheartedly regret but it's done now I just didn't want it to be a box I then started looking at like a backyard type of thing and I thought like the Spanish houses do where they've just got kind of like a, a paved yard with maybe like a pool and some sunbeds so I saw that wall that they've got on at the back there and I just sort of wanted to change the way I did the entire build and so now I had in my head this sort of like Spanish or Italian or kind of Greek some kind of Mediterranean terracotta style house. I kind of got the bare bones down and I didn't know what the budget was. So I thought I'd go for something just one story quite cheap with two bedrooms. And then my beautiful, sleek and sophisticated way of doing things sort of went out the window because all I could think of when I was thinking of the Spanish style terracotta was the fact that everything looks like it's from the 70s or the 80s and everything's made of wood and everything's red and everything's old. So that sort of influenced massively how I started building this. So yeah, old wood doors that look like they could be 40 years old, beautiful. I then started trying to put in a hot tub and it would not let me put one down and it drove me up the wall. So I ended up having to get rid of that back wall completely just to try and get a hot tub in, which was sad but I preferred the hot tub to the wall so the wall that inspired the build ended up going completely and then I started working on the roof which if you've seen any of my builds is always the worst bloody part so the only thing that I knew is that I wanted kind of the terracotta style which is what I did which is what I did but then it just looked awful I hate it even now even the finished I, I can't do roofs someone tell me how to do roofs help me in the comments okay the windows were quite easy because there was quite a few hideous windows that sort of matched the aesthetic that I was going for. I also managed to find some pretty cool lights that went in as well that also kind of fit the aesthetic. The flooring was a really difficult one. The flooring in the base game that it's just there's not a lot that we can go off so I, I tried my best but I think we did just end up going with wood flooring and then in the bathroom we sort of went for a, like a terracotta checked sort of feel. I wanted a sort of back room that you could do your like laundry in which is what that like little porch bit before the back garden is but I don't have any of the laundry day stuff. So if you would like this it is on the gallery and you're more than welcome to download it and then add in your own laundry day stuff. The bathroom I had the most fun making the bathroom actually. I had the hideous rug in the middle but that ended up getting moved because I wanted to something smaller in the bathroom. I put up those little shelves and then realized that I couldn't actually put anything on the shelf so I just deleted them and put down a pre-made shelf that already had things on it. I never thought I'd want the laundry day pack but I so did when I was making this build. So my vision for this was I wanted an all open plan. I wanted it to just be like an archway but you couldn't have that so I just did like a little kind of no door archway leading into the back but I wanted the dining room, living room and kitchen to all kind of be one big room because that's generally what I found in my villas when I go on holiday. Holiday. We were kind of going for a kind of turquoisey blue colour. It seemed very beach friendly. And out of every room that I did, the kitchen, apart from obviously the roof, I don't think that counts as a room, but the kitchen was absolutely the worst because I found like these perfect counters and then they just didn't have any of the matching ones to go up top. And I, I don't know why. I don't know whether I was just being a player, but I couldn't find it. But I looked, I looked for so long. But there did seem to be a lot of blues, though all the blues were different colours, but I was past the point of actually giving a shit. So one half of the kitchen is very blue and the other half of the kitchen kitchen is very turquoise. I started trying to piss on trying to make a breakfast bar but it just didn't work and I ended up throwing a hissy fit in the end and just getting rid of it. The room was just too small there wasn't enough space. Then I started trying to decorate the kitchen but I also just ended up just running out of room so I needed enough bench space so that people could cook but then I just wanted to put all of this like decoration shit on all the benches so um I, I had to I had to not because it is a relatively small kitchen. Onto the living room and this is the kind of biggest problem that I faced was it was a really really odd shape. I couldn't really do anything. I only had one corner to work with because the other two corners had doors in them. Wasn't great placement on my end. Curtains, oh curtains in this game. So we went for some beautiful 
orange curtains because there really wasn't a lot of choice and the, uh, the orange ones just looked like the ones that you'd see the most in a villa. Then we tried to find a TV that would work but I didn't want one just in the middle of the room so we ended up binning it and not getting a TV. Then we were trying to find something for entertainment because we didn't have a TV. I tried like piano, I tried chess, I couldn't find anything. So I just didn't know what to do with that big bit in the corner of the room so I ended up putting a bonsai tree there. Because as we all know, bonsai most fun, the most fun. In the bedrooms, um, I was gonna put the fold away beds. What are they called? Thought it. They're getting called fold away beds for this video. <laughs> I thought they would probably be the best because they were A, the right colour and B, the right kind of shape. You do tend to get a lot of space saving kind of items in these old villas that are a really old manky wood colour. So that's what we opted for. We were going to have a red room and a blue room. So decorating the bedrooms was pretty easy in that respect. I made sure I put a computer in there just so that they had some kind of entertainment because there is nothing. And then I discovered I could size up and down things, which was just fabulous. Okay, so in the back, I decided that I was going to go all out. So we wanted a hot tub, we wanted a pool, we wanted a bar we wanted somewhere that we could lounge about. I wanted the idea of having big parties in the back garden. And this is when I kind of made like the back room more like a little laundry room, which like I said, you could definitely do more with, but I couldn't because I didn't have the right pack. I wanted a swimming pool, but I didn't have a lot of space. So it just had to be a little swimming pool. But I mean, it's it's good enough. It's good enough. We tried to put a bar on the house because we're alcoholics. We couldn't fit a bar in the house. Now at the front, we decided that we were going to make sure that we had somewhere to lounge in the front as well, just in case there's anyone passing. We can make them really jealous because we'll be sipping on Long Island iced teas. So I wanted sun loungers and I also wanted somewhere where you could go and drink your tea. Long Island iced tea. As you can tell by this point, I had figured out that I could move objects and I could make them bigger and smaller and I am going to town with that feature. I fucking love the sunflowers at the front door. Like that was just inspired as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love them. And here we go pissing about with the roof some more. I just hated the roof. There is so much footage of me just being upset at the roof. I do. I try so much as well. I try so much stuff and it never looks right. If you do have any roof tips, please I urge you. I urge you so, so much. Give me them. I hate roofs. I just didn't want it to be a box house, but then now look at the state of it. Looks like a cat. I then decided that I wanted a little chimney because I just think chimneys are very aesthetic. They're very aesthetically pleasing. We went back to the back garden and then started messing on with the greenery. I love doing all the greenery stuff. I love It's my favourite part of doing builds. I could have spent a lot longer on it, but I was really running out of time at this point. So I just went for very minimal. Some trees for some shade and then just a little bit of like grass and flowers just on the back. Not a lot at all though. And then last but not least, Ah, I found the wallpaper just so naff. You know how I feel about the base game wallpaper. So there wasn't a lot that I could do. I just sort of banged on whatever I could. I added a chessboard and an easel to the back garden just for like extra added fun. Um, I tried to kind of make it like a little gazebo, but it, it would not let me. The game was having none of it. So I just gave up in the end. Like I said, this is in the gallery if you would like to have a look at it, if you would like to download it, if you would like to change it, if you would like to make the roof look good. If you do hashtag chesky love build, you will find it. It is called the Pong House. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye!